If you watch local lifestyles often, you know that I'm a huge fan of this compassionate young man. Courtney Johnson is the founder of Young and Established, and he's just off a big win this weekend with the Black and White Masquerade Ball. Welcome back. Thank you for having me. So let's talk about why you started the Black and White Ball five years ago and how you've seen it grow over these past five years. So I love just bringing different things to Evansville, but also supporting something positive. And five years ago, it was just the idea. I love to dress up. So I said, I want to put together something that is fun, different, but also where people can just dress up and have a good time. And that's really what it was. And five years later, here we are. The Evansville Country Club does an amazing job with just helping us bring that vision together. And I mean, you saw how amazing it looked in there as far as the details of Y&E. We had Y&E and our logo and everything everywhere, even on the food. So. Even on the food, because I, yeah. I meant to send Amanda that picture that your it, logo was on the food. Who did the pastries for you? So Sammy, Sammy Jo, she's uh, really, really creative, and she does a lot of great things here in Evansville, so she put that together. And I didn't actually see it until I got there, so she wanted to surprise me, so when I saw it, it just, I was just happy about the whole event. It was spot on, too. It was I mean, perfect. spot <laughs> on. So, Courtney, I mean, you can obviously see all the, there's, you know, Wayne Hart and Melissa. They and looked amazing, too. Yeah, it was just fun. <laughs> so, first of all, how does it feel for you building this organization, this service organization, and seeing the people who support you? I mean, the support is really impressive. It means a lot. It's a lot that goes into it as far as work, but just to see we're seven years in this year. So that's still kind of wild for me to say that it's been seven years, but just to see how much love and support people show us. And again, a, a fundraiser like this helps us because we don't get grants. We haven't received grants. Hopefully we will. But this continues uh, just with what we do in the community and it helps with everything that we do. So it was a big event and we had well over uh, 500 people that, that showed up. and uh, They were all on the dance floor at yeah, the same we, time, too. <laughs> <laughs> Every it, single one. Your DJ was great as well. Thank you. So it really, it, it really just shows uh, just how much support and love that we have, uh, just people in the community pouring into what we do. And it was really diverse. I mean, you got to see firsthand just how many different groups uh, the demographic of people that were there. It was just amazing to see. Well, your grandparents rocked the floor, too. Yeah, they were there. <laughs> Huge shout out to my grandparents. They were so much better. They stayed a lot longer than I they did. They stayed so, the yeah. whole time, every time. So they said, don't, please don't change the time, because it was 1 o'clock last year. It was 2 o'clock this year, and they were like, if you change it to 3 o'clock, I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. So. <laughs> well, my hat was off to them, I'll tell you. Well, let our audience know, Courtney, a little bit more about this, the kinds of programs that you put forth every year. So basically, uh, Young and Established is a local nonprofit that I started seven years ago, just wanting to make a difference in the community. And we started just doing food drives and toy drives, but it continued to grow uh, every year. So we're in the process of... Uh, I'll be back soon to make that announcement of what we're doing, but just the mentoring, tutoring, annual, event, annual events, excuse me, that we uh, have from Backpack Drives. We took over the, the Toys for Tots last year, which was amazing. And uh, just different things that we do in the community to make sure we get people involved and just support and help to make our community a better place. And I think we've been doing that. Well, you sure have it. I think Thank it's you. highlighted some needs that maybe kind of have slipped off people's radars. We don't always think about how many kids need it. But, you know, backpacks are a lot of money. Yeah. And school supplies, a lot of money. Haircut, anything. So the simple things I think a lot of us uh, sometimes take for granted, right. but just being able to do this work is, is a blessing and being able to come back home uh, and just do this work in Evansville has meant a lot to me. So. I'm just happy to, to be able to give back and make a difference and then also people appreciate uh, what we do. And Saturday proved that, seeing all those people dressed up and even having you there meant a lot. So I've been trying to get you for a long time. You and George were, were able to make it and you both looked amazing. Well, we'll be back next year. There you go. We'll be with our dancing <laughs> shoes on. So well, it was you. a lot of fun. If you want to support the work that Courtney does throughout the year, best thing to do is go to your Facebook page, Courtney. Go to our Facebook page or go to our website at youngandestablished.com. And we have a lot of things planned for this year. And we're looking forward to just continuing to make a difference and get more and more people involved with what we do in our community. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you.